I'm going to tell you a few words about uh, managing future cities and the role of media and uh, information technologies uh, in the cities. So um, the goal of this paper um, uh, will be to examine the usage of information technologies and media in two European uh, case studies, Berlin and Warsaw. The research aims uh, at examining uh, strategies and uh, institutions, both private and public, in light of the practical implementation um, of smart solutions by uh, city hall authorities. The silent questions um, to be addressed are, in what ways um, the city hall authorities in Berlin and Warsaw approach change in uh, smart city solutions? What communication patterns um, and infrastructures uh, are the most popular when fostering digital and human-centered uh, approach? And how do the smart city experts in Berlin and Warsaw see the future role of managing urban communications? And uh, the research hypothesis is that the use of uh, media in smart city, in, uh, Berlin and smart city Warsaw, is not the result of a specifically uh, defined uh, strategy. And the rationale for this hypothesis was to see that a smart city can be created not only through the in initiatives of the city authorities and the strategies are adapted. It seems that the authorities of Berlin and Warsaw uh, see potential in modern communication solutions, um, but for various reasons do not invest in the development of uh, media infrastructure or just do not yet see the benefits of using it. Um, and talking about the understanding of smart city concept, no universal concept of smart city has been or can be applied. Moreover, ongoing uh, innovation processes um, and rapid changes in technology make it even more difficult to compare definitions um, of smart city that have developed in the last years. However, Naman Pardo claimed Mm, that there are at least three basic dimensions of smart city. As you can see, mm, uh, we, we can find out that there are three dimensions, institutional, human, and technological. And each uh, dimension represents different la um, layers for smart city analysis. And for, for example, for mm, technology, mm, technological di di dimension, mm, uh, we can find infrastructure, tools and software, and talking uh, about human di dimension, we can find, we can find their uh, creativity, diversity, and education. And the uh, institutional dimension is about um, cooperation, about uh, politics, and about government. And the authors also claim that the combination of these uh, three categories uh, has a potential to create successful ur urban environment uh, which is based on infrastructure, human capital, and active governance. However, uh, the definition of technology and media uh, has been problematic as well. For, for instance, uh, problems have appeared when looking at uh, current definitions of media, and uh, scholars and policy making organizations have made attempts to extend um, uh, understanding of media towards, for example, ICT, media-like services, platforms, and networks, and so on. So um, new media combine the various elements uh, of communication between people, machines, and human-machine interactions. And uh, through in-depth um, examination of literature related to communication, cities, and, and contemporary definitions of media, uh, also ICT, um, uh, definitions, I observe uh, at least two dimensions. So dimension of uh, types of uh, media infrastructure and patterns of communication. Uh, firstly, in order to understand um, uh, the components of the communication layer in the smart city, we can find um, two types of media infrastructure, hardware and software. Secondly, I also argue 
that uh, the role of media in smart city might be seen through the lenses of human uh, to machine communication and also machine to machine communication. And for, for example, human to machine um, communication is used in everyday life um, by citizens. For example, when we use our smartphones on, or when we get uh, some notifications on our smartphone. Uh, in, in machine to machine communication, machines operate themselves and communicate with other devices without human participation. And moving to methodology of my research, <clears throat> the study draws uh, on a wide range of resources and two levels of analysis. Mm, so analysis of policies, strategies, news reports and documentation. So I mean uh, gray literature and qualitative study based on semi-structured uh, interviews. Mm, analysis, analysis findings mm, from uh, strategies and news reports were confronted uh, with uh, semi-structured interviews co-conducted with experts from Berlin, Warsaw. Mm, and in each city, I conducted 15 semi-structured interviews. And I invited, and I invited many experts uh, from example, from uh, city hall representatives, but also people from private companies involved in fostering uh, technological solutions, media, ICT, and uh, so on. And why I have chosen these uh, two uh, cities, um, Berlin and Warsaw have been chosen as a contrasting ones. Uh, Berlin is, of course, um, is a capital of uh, Germany, is the biggest city in Germany. On the other hand, Warsaw is the biggest city in, um, uh, in, in Poland. Uh, however, both cities have aspirations to become innovation leaders in the region. And for example, um, uh, in 2015, Berlin um, adopted smart city strategy, the official document where we can find uh, we, we we can find key actions to transform uh, German uh, capital into smart city. On the other hand, in Warsaw, um, there is no official document dedicated exactly to to smart city. However, there is more general strategy titled Warsawa um, uh, 2030, uh, and as you can see. Uh, the main managing entity in Berlin is a Berlin partner for business and technology, and there is a special un uh, unit called Smart City Unit responsible for the Smart City implementation. On the other hand, in Warsaw, there is no specific um, one office dedicated generally to Smart City. However, um, the main entity responsible for the implementation is the City Hall of the city. And also we can find uh, two departments where um, also, which, which are very also in the smart city uh, area. Uh, in both cities, we, we can find private um, entities which support uh, smart city solutions. For example, in Berlin, Cisco or Siemens, in Warsaw, Orange or Microsoft. And also in both cities, um, we can find uh, innovation centers where, um, especially talking about the startups, where we can find some um, projects fo focus on uh, de de developing uh, some mobile applications, ICT platforms, and ge generally uh, smart city solutions. And moving into um, findings um, of the project, I divided findings on three main categories devoted to understanding of uh, the smart city concept, city strategy, and the role of media in the city. And um, starting from the um, understanding of the smart city concept, differences uh, in the perception of smart city have been noticed uh, at the level of municipalities and the private uh, companies. In the definitions of a smart city developed by different actors, um, there is rather focus on uh, the implementation of a specific plan and a specific uh, tools for this. 
the analysis of the concept has confirmed uh, the right of uh, treating the smart city based on the three main dimensions. So I mean, human, technological and institutional dimension. And only the optimal and uh, mutual um, operation of these three dimensions is a determinant um, to creation of a smart city. So we can say that the smart city is about communication, understanding needs and uh, collaboration between various entities. Um, however, in Berlin, the concept of smart city is understood differently, especially that uh, it's implemented not only in the city area, but is extended to the entire Brandenburg uh, region. The emphasis of the Berlin respondents uh, was mainly on residents and technology. And also Berlin is seen as a multicultural uh, city with uh, international background. So um, uh, Berlin must take action to improve the lives of all residents from many different cultures. On the other hand, uh, in Warsaw, the concept, the concept of smart city is very popular, but one uh, can see that uh, the common uh, denominator is information and communication technologies. The technological area in Warsaw is um, understood as the integration of information systems, uh, which improve the quality and speed of information transfer. Also, technology should be used to serve their residents and help people, for example, with, a, with uh, disabilities, and uh, the example is uh, for um, is mobile application virtual um, virtual Warsaw, uh, where uh, where we, we we can find help for people with some disabilities. And uh, here you can see some selected quotes from my uh, research. And as you can see, uh, one of the respondent from Berlin, for, for example. Uh, treats um, a smart city as a nervous system. Um, uh, the smartness comes from uh, citizens. And um, talking about the Warsaw, uh, we, can, we, we can see focus on digital layer and use of technology. Moving into um, understanding of strategies, uh, Berlin and Warsaw have different approaches um, to having an official uh, smart city strategy. So um, in Berlin, there's official strategy formal document, but in, in Warsaw, there is no um, dedicated, there is no document dedicated strictly to, to, to smart uh, city. Um, they also have different indications of the role uh, of the media. Uh, in both cities, smart city operations are decentralized and uh, cooperation between public institutions and private companies is treated as um, opportunity for the city's development. Um, however, human actions dominates in Berlin, um, which uh, has its impact on the official strategy of the city. Um, the role of smaller urban uh, communities in the process uh, is also very important in the process of creating of smart city, of course. Uh, technology companies um, and organizations initiate uh, some projects dedicated to smart city, but the role of um, city authorities is to coordinate ongoing actions. Berlin is also a friendly ecosystem for many, many uh, startups. Mm, so we can find them uh, there for, for example, uh, many, many innovation centers. On the other hand, in Warsaw, as one of the mm, uh, respondents said, the lack of a common strategy is a, an advantage and uh, it leads to competition and uh, cleverness in so society. And uh, the main initiatives uh, are investments in the development of infra infrastructure and uh, digital layer, especially talking about the developing of e-services for residents. And uh, the study showed also that the, um, there is a need to build 
uh, integrated communication platform in Warsaw, um, which would be filled with an urban data. So we can see that the role of open data, big data, um, is very important for, for uh, Warsaw city municipalities. And going into the role of um, the role of media uh, in the city, um, the study noted analogy between the media space and city space, um, uh, because space in in a communication also in uh, in in the city is it's, it's uh, sorry the space of media and uh, the, um, the city space it's a space about communication and uh, new media um, in part particular are um, elementary part of the smart city where communication takes place on many levels and through many, many uh, various channels. So smart city is based on a digital communication and processes um, and which is why it's so important to implement uh, a proper media infrastructure. Um, so it's necessary to create infrastructure basis on uh, Mm, of both hard and soft elements and the tasks of the city authorities is to guarantee access to basis um, to basic infrastructure so um, it will be basis for the creating other solutions for private uh, entities however <clears throat> berlin and warsaw uh, have not yet fully recognized the potential of machines but um, we can see bigger and bigger use of machine to machine communication based so solutions in both cities. Human to machine and machine to machine communications as not, uh, are not yet well developed in Berlin um, because of some technical problems, especially le legal regulations, which limit uh, human machine activities and um, the study in Warsaw uh, recognized the universality of human to machine and the usefulness of machine to machine uh, solutions but there are still only a few um, examples machine to machine solutions uh, in the city and uh, more hard tools uh, such as city screens and smartphones should be implemented and used in the capital of uh, Germany. On the other hand, in Warsaw, we should, um, we, we should focus more on the um, contextual media uh, at enable, um, which enable an analysis uh, of user behavior. And also we can see many actions in Warsaw devoted to, to developing of um, a soft infrastructure. And talking about the future, <clears throat> uh, the future of media in smart city will be even more important, uh, mainly due to dynamic use of technology in everyday life. And for, for a good example is uh, artificial, artificial intelligence and also uh, virtual reality. And also solutions based of, on human to machine and machine communications are, uh, are key because they, they help to collect data from from many sources, for example, even from users and the city environment. Mm, uh, technologies implemented in the city do not make sense if uh, people do not use them, yes? So it's necessary to examine the role of citizens as uh, users of the media mm, and what information then they expect and how the interaction between urban actors involved in smart city processes can take place. Also, the issue is of sharing economy, gentrification and revitalization of urban areas, especially since we uh, cannot expand the city's physical resources, because, of course, area is uh, limited, but uh, we can expand uh, digital uh, resources, for example, through virtual reality technology. And conclusions. Uh, in, Berlin, uh, in, in Berlin and Warsaw, the impact of media infrastructure is uh, highlighted um, uh, with, uh, of course, hard and soft parts. Um, uh, Berlin's infrastructure uh, requires um, updating. On the other hand, in Warsaw, 
there is some uh, infrastructure, but it still needs to be developed and it's not um, yet integrated. And the potential of media infrastructure has been recognized uh, in the case uh, of, of strategy on, in Warsaw and Berlin uh, have more human-centered approach. However, um, soft infrastructure and human to machine um, and machine to machine solutions dominate in semi-structured uh, interviews. And to summarize, we can say that the media are a nervous system of a smart city. Okay, so thank you for your attention and that's all. Thank you.